Avenue to celebrate Colin Dunn's return to the Yukon River. Kuchan Kane, Clay Krauche, Sean Smith, Yukat Muso, Okuni Che, Guch Ayakat Yati, Colin Kuchaniche, where the river runs through a narrow place, and that is where we're from. We're at the Kwanlin Dunn Cultural Center and Lauren Tuck and I'm joined by Meredith Kenzie. She's the Marketing and Events Manager. Tell me a little bit about how the Cultural Center came to be. Sure, well it actually goes back quite a few years when the uh, land claim agreements were being worked out with KDFN and the government here mm -hmm. and they were able to negotiate a settlement that included a piece of land on the waterfront. So the Yukon River represents a deep, deep history for us and uh, it's such a momentous occasion for us to be all here together. This is the main entrance to the building. Mm -hmm. It's a neat architectural element the architects brought in where you can actually walk all the way from the end of Black Street down through the revolving doors and into the longhouse and out to the fire pit and the river. So there's this neat continuous corridor connecting it to downtown. One of the most visually iconic elements of the centre is the moon face by Mark Preston. It's the image that you'll see as you approach the cultural centre. We have our elders lounge to your right with our wood burning fire stoves so they can come and have a place for storytelling, a place to gather. This is our signature room. It's our biggest room for any kind of reception or gala. Okay. Uh, it's called the Longhouse because it's the architecture is modeled on the idea of the longhouse. You'll see some of the architectural elements that reflect that with the vaulted ceiling and all of the wood. Uh, it's all cedar that's been brought in. We really cherish our, our, our heritage and really share and, and, and uh, teach and educate others about our culture. And it's all about building bridges between us and other people. Part of this hallway is that there's actually an exhibit component or an interactive component to it as well, right? Yes, there is. It's called our interpretive corridor and there are a range of exhibits in the display cases. There's interpretive panels. We also have iPads that you can interact with. So there's movies and photos and stories. You can wow. do your own exploring and learning. We're here at the Artist Studio. Mm -hmm. This is a space where we'll be developing partnerships with local artists and craftspeople to bring in programming. We're not just a museum and a place for artifacts, but the living culture is actually being developed. So we've now found ourselves in the sacred space. That's correct. It's not open to the public. It's a place where First Nations groups can come and really with a focus on healing or traditional activities and ceremonies. It's the sacred fire pit that was built for the community to use for ceremonies and any traditional activities, but it's also a lovely gathering place for anyone who wants to come down. In the tradition of our ancestors, Kwan Lin Dan will continue to host Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people alike, and through the Kwan Lin Dan uh, Cultural Centre, it represents a holding of our history and a making of new memories, and we welcome you all to enjoy in this day and to celebrate what our future holds, which is bright and rich.